all about the bottles, the bottles, the bottles, the bottles, the bottles, the bottles. So, um, maraming nagtanong sa akin. There, were, uh, when I was doing a breastfeeding uh, presentation here in the Philippines, there were some moms who asked me questions about bottle feeding. Okay, so there's lots of moms right now. They're struggling with milk supply, and there are those who are worried about. Uh, itong shortage ng milk or formula milk ngayon. On what they gonna do? What they gonna do pag wala ng available formula? What they gonna do pag hindi na talaga kaya ng gusto ni mom when it comes to feeding the baby? So, today, I'm in my home again in the Philippines and I'm just gonna be here talking to you about bottle feeding. So, my nanay na nag-message sa akin, desperately, desperately wants help on how to just teach the baby how to fall in love with the bottle. Okay. So, sa mga nanay na nagpa-plano na after six months going back to work, um, I've, said this, I've said this before, kailangan nyo talagang i-plano, okay? I-plano ninyo kung kailan kayo mag-start going to work. I-plano ninyo on when you are going to start to uh, train the baby on how to use the bottle. This is one thing that uh, I've uh, noticed when I'm teaching moms on how to do bottle transition. Minsan kasi, the caregiver, when you're at work, you have a caregiver. Either you have a, a housekeeper, you have a family member, you have your mother-in-law, or you have your own mother that will be feeding this baby via bottle. So, I always make sure that they are included in the teaching. Okay, So, if you have them, gather gather <laughs> gather them call them because this is important they need to know on how to use this bottle because when you go to work wala ka, there's no guidance from you they have to figure out on how to use this bottle i'll tell you a story there was one time i was teaching the mom on how to use bottle feeding because um the baby needs to supplement uh baby needs supplementation Dahil nga, baby is not gaining good weight. Mom doesn't have enough milk supply. So, um, I was there. I was teaching the mom on how to use the bottle. And then, itong caregiver niya wasn't paying attention to me while I was teaching. So, I noticed her. She was just so distracted. She, she doesn't even, you know, took it seriously on how I teach the mom on how to bottle feed. I was hoping that she's also paying attention to my teaching. But... She was too busy with, with other stuff. But anyway, gather them. If you have your older sibling, even your husband, and uh, your mother-in-law or whoever going to be feeding this baby needs to watch this, okay? Now, I've demonstrated this before. So there are, there are three types of uh, nipple flow, okay? The, the, the slow flow, the medium flow, and the fast flow. Okay, now when you're when you're if you let's say your baby is six months old, you're ready to go to work. You're trying to transition this baby from breast to bottle, so you're gonna be decide you you gonna be the one who's gonna decide on uh, what would you start to train the baby. Okay, either the fast flow, the slow flow, the medium flow, or the fast flow. Okay, for me, depende sa appetite ng baby mo. Okay. My mga babies that by the time you 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 latch them they want instant gratification meaning <laughs> instant flow and jene kagad and they feel frustrated pag uh, they're trying to suck or latch na wala yung instant flow na yon so kung iyan ang type ng baby mo na gusto yung instant gratification na talagang nagdejan ka agad so you can use the fast flow especially baby is already six months old okay you can use the fast flow. Pero pag ang baby mo isa sa mga slow feeder na gusto taking their time on how to get the milk, ayaw nilang ma-overwhelm, and they don't want to do the, they don't want the fast flow, they get so overwhelmed pag talagang nag-leak na yung milk very fast, do a medium then, okay? You do a medium. So again, you study on what your behavior, baby's behavior is. Then you can decide kung gusto mo bang medium flow, or a fast flow. Again, i-repeat ko lang, when you buy this nipple, 
yung rule ko na sinasabi ko, okay, na minsan hindi tinutulo sa inyo ng mga healthcare provider mo, it's always a straight nipple, okay? Walang kahit anong shape ng mga nipple dyan, wala. Talagang straight nipple, either medium flow, fast flow, or slow flow, a soft silicone, and a wider base. Kung wala kayong makikita ng mga wider base dyan, then don't bother because baby's already older, right? So, you can buy whatever shape of this base of your nipple. If it's not wide enough, it's okay, okay? Lalo na pag hindi kaya ng busa. But just the rule, if you're a new mom right now, you're preparing for your bottles, always a straight bottle, soft silicone, and uh, fast flow or slow flow or medium flow, and wider base. Pag makakita ka. So, how are you going to start doing this? Okay, pabalik ka sa work within a month and you're really trying to establish bottle feeding bago ka bumalik sa work because you are gonna be, you're gonna be so worried while you're at work na itong baby na to hindi dididi. Okay, hindi magdidede. So, you won't be have peace of mind at work dahil si baby ko to, ikaw na sa work. So, what you can do is always follow the video that I've created about switch and bait technique. Yan talaga ang pinaka one of the most effective way on how to slowly transition your baby, okay? Again, dinidemo ko ito before, when you do switch and bait, latch the baby, kasi nagbe-breastfeed ka, no? And then switch the bottle. Latch the baby, pag fasi si baby, pag relax si baby, you switch the bottle. Ayaw pa rin, tinutulak ni baby, latch pa rin si baby, do this one million times. <laughs> when I say million times, many, 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 many times. So, that's how you're going to be transitioning. Now, kung ayaw ni baby ng formula, kasi minsan naninibago talaga si baby sa taste ng formula, kaya they push it away, they throw away the bottle, they cry, they don't want to eat, kahit magbutom sila, ayaw nila, talagang matigas ang ulo, then you may have to... to Make sure that you're pumping enough para pagbalik mo sa work, you have enough milk for your models. Um, may nagtanong sa akin, can I mix the, my breast milk with the formula kung ayaw ni baby talaga nung lasa ng milk? Based on research talaga, hindi namin sinasuggest na imimix yung formula sa ating breast milk. Dahil based on research na apektuhan, yung nutrients or anti-infectant components ng ating breast milk pag nahalo po yun sa formula. Ngayon, kung ang baby nyo ay talagang tigasin ang ulo at ayaw taglangan dumede and wala ka talagang choice kundi i-mix na lang yun, siguro magustuhan ng taste. Do it! Okay, do it! I would rather see your baby drinking happily, eating, and you have, you have less of stress than following whatever everything in the book okay uh, again sa mga healthcare providers we follow what's in the book okay we follow what's in the research pero sa inyong mga nanay alam kong minsan nahihirapan na kayo nahihirapan na talaga kayo mag transition your baby do whatever's best that you think is best for your baby ganun na lang kasi pag pag pipilitin niyo nag-aaway din kayo na stress lang kayo Mabuti na lang yung pagbigyan nyo na lang kung ano talaga yung gusto ni baby, okay? Um, it's not easy. Kaya binibigyan ko kayo ng warning, okay? Kaya lalo na kayo, those moms who are going back to work, hindi madali ang transition. Kaya wag kayong, wag kayong mag-isip na after three days, after one week, okay na. No! There may be probably one month na hindi magsasuffer pa rin yung baby nyo. So, you need to just have more than 100% patients dahil uh, nakikita ko, naririnig ko yung mga hinain nyo. Nakikita ko talagang desperately uh, you wanting to have a perfect uh, uh, bottle feeding uh, um, transition. Hindi po ganun kabilis, hindi po ganun kadali. Kaya depende talaga dito sa matigas na ulo na baby ninyo, okay? Um, just be patient. Uh, make sure that... Um, you are uh, making uh, plans bago ka bumalik sa work or you are making plans bago ka, let's say, if you're going to be traveling in a few days. So, yan lang ang lectures natin ngayon about um, the bottle feeding, bottle transition. Dahil yun talaga ang laging tinatanong sa akin while I'm on holiday. 
So sorry kung hindi ko kaagad nasagot yung ibang mga tanong because I was traveling for how many days now doing seminars all over Philippines. Um, so yan lang ang mai si share ko sa inyo for now about transition. Again, when you are with your baby, make the most of it. Dahil pag wala ka na when you go to work, mamimiss niyo yung bonding na yun. So, do the best thing that you can while you have your baby right now. Uh, if, if feeling you as a baby is really frustrated doing the transition, just hug your baby, cuddle your baby, comfort your baby. Alam niyo, hirap na hirap si baby, okay? Pero, uh, isipin niyo na, pag nakatake na si baby ng, milk, ng, ng bottle doon sa mouth, no, ng milk from the bottle, at frustrated pa si baby, it's okay. Naging frustrated siya because he, the baby is really longing to latch, right? So, it's okay. Just cuddle the baby, hug the baby, just snuggle the baby, you know. Alam mong hindi gutom si baby. And I know for a fact na may mga moms, they feel, you feel guilty. Minsan naiiyak kayo, minsan uh, naaawa kayo sa baby niyo. It's okay. It's a normal feeling of a mother. Okay? It's a normal feeling. Um, naranasan ko yun. So, just make the most of it. Alam mo, busog si baby. Nakadede na from the bottle or or nakadede na from the syringe. Kahit anong tools na gagamitin nyo. Just hug, cuddle your baby. Uh, kung andyan si daddy, si daddy will do that. Dahil pag naamoy yung breast ninyo, maglalat yan si baby. So, make sure that do a really good transition. Plan ahead. Huwag kayong magmamadali dahil hindi madali ang transition. Okay? Kahit message kayo ng message sa akin, when this one gonna happen, when the baby gonna learn, depende po, okay? Depende kung gaano kabilis mag-transition si baby. May mga baby, it takes really a long time bago talaga si baby ma-fell in love doon sa transition na gagawin niyo. So, I wish you good luck. You can still message me, do your comments. Please do like, uh, click the like button if you like this video. Uh, more videos to come. Marami pa akong ikakwento sa inyo regarding my travels here in the Philippines and so on and so forth. Bye for now and I'll see you in more videos.